Hello, good afternoon. Good morning, and welcome to this morning uh, program. Um, I want to welcome each and every one of you. I want to say thank you for being here. Um, this morning, we'll be talking about uh, issues that are arising. We'll be talking about um, the new development in the United Kingdom, the UK recognition of um, IPOB. Uh, asylum status for IPOB and the uh, Biafran agitators. Um, we'll be talking about that, but we'll be taking it from a different perspective. We've had public opinion, we have seen people come out uh, to air their opinion on that uh, a, a British decision to grant um, asylum to IPOB members and uh, all Biafran agitators. And, um, We'll be looking at that uh, in our perspective. My name is Ike Patrick Dike. Uh, I'm your presenter. With me is Mazi Solomon Peter. Mazi Solomon, welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Yes, sir. Welcome, uh, Mazi Patrick Ike. Thank you for bringing me into this very program at this hour. I welcome be a fan all over the world and uh, lovers of freedom. Haters of Mazin Nandikano, lovers of Mazin Nandikano, you are welcome. All IPOP, IPOP family, you are welcome into this very program. As many as many of you that will join us into this uh, uh, this program in this morning edition, at the end of Mazi part, at my end here, it is good evening. You are welcome into this very program. Please try to welcome your friends also and uh, neighbors. Very important. We are here to reason together. Uh, my name is Solomon Peter, and I must state before we start that we are not here in any uh, representative capacities. We are just sampling our opinion. We are not a spoke people, a spokesman of uh, IPOP. We are not in any way in a representative capacity. What we are here is just to share our view and uh, sample our own opinion. So you are also entitled entitled to your own opinion your comment is welcome feel free in this very platform so we whatever things we uh, we says here does not mean that this is the collective opinion of ipop family we are just here to sample opinion and analyze things in our own way so join us and feel free to make a contribution to this very program. Your contribution is welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Mazi Patrick. Today we will be analyzing the, the, um, the issue of uh, um, a salon granted by the, uh, um, by the British, um, saying that their door are open to, uh, to grant a refuge a kind of um, axalon to Biafran, um, to Biafran at any time. So it's a, it's a welcome development. Everybody might see the development in, the, in, a, in a quite different ways. But when it comes to agita uh, our agitation for Biafra, to me, is a welcome development is a welcome development in the sense that um, right now we can see that our agitations has been proven to be recognized, to have international recognitions that we are oppressed in Nigeria, that we are oppressed in Nigeria, that uh, actually Nigeria has not treated us fairly and that is why uh, this asylum has to come because the world is seeing it clearly now that we are really oppressed in Nigeria and something has to be done about it. Uh, Mazi Patrick, I think uh, that is what I am seeing uh, in my own opinion in that very asylum. So I don't know. Um, let's some yeah, opinion. Well, no, yeah. Mazi, it is a welcome development. It is in the in, in, uh, step in the right direction. Uh, you know, for a very long time now, even the the international community have been trying to avoid their involvement in what is happening in Biafra land. Everybody seemed to be hiding their faces. Uh, but Britain actually coming out to say, okay, um, we are granting asylum to. Biafran agitators, IPOB members, 
it showed that uh, the oppression is now beginning to get some recognition and that agitation is also beginning to uh, echo louder and for them to say we will grant you asylum it shows that they have recognized that we are oppressed people and when you look at countries that got their independence every independent country today uh, from south sudan to every other country these are the steps that we're taking that here in europe when you say you are from south sudan uh before the independence of south sudan they give you that uh, they give you that uh, recognition you are welcomed because they you know they recognize the sufferings of the south sudan people and from that step uh they were able to start considering you know getting involved in, in what is happening on the ground so the asylum uh the, the gate to give their first asylum uh is an open door to show Biafras and the world that our cries have been heard. You know, it's like when you are being beaten, as you know, when we were children in those days, when your parents are after you, they want to beat you, you run to somebody for, for shelter and they protect you. You know, they put you behind their back, they protect you, and from there, they, they start settling, start asking what is the problem, and the issues will be resolved. You know, yes, Mazi, Pat, Mazi, Pat, Mazi, Pat. Apart from that, uh, can we see the reasons why a, a, a salon in the first place is being given to people? A salon are uh, always being given to people or the gateway for our salons are open for people when their safety are no more guarantee in their own country when their safety are no more guarantee it is long we are crying here how we are dying in biafran land and how we are being killed and how nigerian uh, army and police are being ruled to kill biafran even right now as we are talking there is an adoption in the entire emo state adopting biafrans from here and there taking young men even to unknown destinations and most of them they don't even have means or way to communicate with their family there is so many of them by now that their families are not aware of where they are and this is how nigerian police and army keep adopting our people even our women adopting them taking them to their camp rape them even to death and so many of our young men that they kidnap, that they kidnap, take to unknown place, have not returned home. Have not returned home up to now. So right now, they, uh, I think that um, uh, I think that uh, 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 British are waking up from their slumber. They are waking up to their slumber. They are waking up to stand to their responsibility. Because I tell you that the new generation of British does not like what british uh, uh, arm of government was used to 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 do to be france so so many even one of my one of my uh, uh the, my consultant is an, a british man telling me he has told me all the truth the new generation of british are not are not in any way in support or happy of what the British arm of government was used to do to Biafrans because that is not a collective decision of the British. It is just few people like as we have the cabals today, as we have the cabals today in, in, in Nigeria, ruling Nigeria, they have succeeded in killing Nigeria. You had the man who, who appeared here to tell us how Nigeria is dead. Because when we keep telling you that Nigeria is not going to survive, a dead man, a dead man can, a dead, a dead thing cannot live again. You know? So, Mazi, you will Mazi, see, Mazi, Mazi, there are so you will see at this point, Mazi, you will see at the, this point, as I, uh, yeah, Mazi, thank you. Just give me the, because there's something I want to, uh, I want Biafrans to look at. I've seen Biafrans say, oh, we don't want asylum, we want a referendum. We'll be coming to that later. But there are so many perspectives that we have to look at when it comes to Britain 
recognizing the oppression of the indigenous people of Biafra, especially. Don't forget that the Nigerian government declared IPOB a terrorist organization. And you know, you know what it means for a country to declare a declare a people terrorist organization that the world will not play with the issue of terrorism. And for Britain to have given IPOB, uh, despite the, the, the terrorism tag and the proscription, for Britain to have given IPOB this recognition that when you come to Britain as a member of IPOB, you will be recognized and be granted asylum or refuge, it is an indictment on the part of the Nigerian government. It shows that the international community do not recognize the IPOB proscription. You see, so we are not talking about the offer for the asylum here. We are talking about the implication, the indictment. So we have to look at it from the entire horizon of the failure of the Nigerian government, and even at the international level, Mazi Solomon. Yes, that's exactly that's exactly now what is also intense is this remember what i just said is that asylum is being granted when your security of life when your security of life is not ensured so now british has recognized that our security in nigeria is not ensured so therefore they have opened the gateway for asylum I know where Biafrans are going. I, we know what we want. We know what we need. But first of all, we must know that our freedom is on layers. Is, our freedom has different layers. First of all, at this very point in time, when we are in Nigeria, our security of life and property is not granted. And that is what uh, British come to recognize here. That is what they come. So we must do everything to free ourselves. Our freedom is guaranteed. But before the process... Sorry to, to cut you short. Because, you know, our people... There is something I want our people... And that is why we bring this program to you. And that is what in, 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 in my title, I said, let's look at it from a different perspective. Mazi, do you know that this asylum gate that have been opened for the indigenous people of Biafra also gives, makes our argument stronger in the international community and debate? that we have been crying for a very long time that our lives are not safe. The British have already started. Other countries are also going to follow. And from this stage of recognizing our sufferings, we are, at this point, we cannot bring our debate even stronger, making more demands of whatever we want. Is it a referendum? Is it total uh, exit from Nigeria? But first of all, we have to appreciate uh, the steps that have been taken so far. And the Nigerian government itself also understand uh, the implication. The Nigerian government absolutely understand the implication of the step that the British government has taken. Uh, that it is a step that have already indicted, especially this uh, APC administration. It has indicted the entire system. You know, so it is a welcome development. As much as we know that our uh, our destination is demand for referendum, but the granting of asylum by, by Britain gives our case a more stronger base for debate. That recognition gives the Biafra people the, uh, the uh, advantage they have been seeking for over the years to say, if you can give us asylum, and that shows that you have recognized that we are no longer safe in Nigeria. Now we want you to take it a step further by making sure that uh, you, you do other things that are necessary for us to get our total freedom from Nigeria. So as much as uh, we understand that everybody is clamoring for a referendum, everybody is clamoring for freedom, uh, the first step of, this, of the recognition that we are under suffering and pain, under oppression, 
is something we should be grateful to uh, because for over the years that we have been shouting we have been crying and nobody seemed to listen to us and uh, the world seemed to shy away from the reality people seem uh the, the international community seem not to recognize our pains and today the united kingdom have come to recognize our pain by opening the door for asylum so that if you say you're an ipob member and uh, you have possibility of uh, getting uh, that protection that you deserve. But we are now encouraging their friends to start moving to the United Kingdom for asylum, by the way. Uh, it will be a total um, disappointment if we start taking advantage of the asylum si uh, system and say, so, okay, we'll have to drop our struggle to go and seek asylum in the United Kingdom. That is not the game plan. But the, the advantage that United Kingdom have recognized that IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, are oppressed people in Nigeria. It is a welcome development, and we must applaud that. Uh, despite the fact that we know that Britain have also contributed immensely to our suffering. But at the end of the day, they have also given the international community the lead way to follow other countries. Definitely America is going to follow, Australia is going to follow, other Schengen states are going to follow, and by the time uh, other countries start recognizing that we are not safe in the zoo called Nigeria, uh, I think uh, we have a uh, better opportunity to bring a more stronger debate to the international community and say, yes, you have given up our people asylum, we appreciate that, but at the same time, this is what we want. It makes our case stronger at the international community. When you look at every country that have gotten their independence, that have gotten their freedom, it has always been the first step of you know, showing that concern, of that recognition that we need to uh, give refuge to this uh, individual to this group of people to these people that are being oppressed and that is what we have been able to uh achieve so far uh, so from the uh, asylum uh granted or refuge access we can now start making our debate stronger by telling the world that we cannot continue to run out of our land to seek our asylum in foreign land, but we need a total freedom to be able to develop our land and also make contributions to the world. So while we wait for uh, Mazi Solomon to rejoin us back, I want to see if we can take uh, a, a, a clip, a clip of American uh, report on the activities of uh, Nieti Allah, uh, so you can see the point we are trying to bring to you. While America is indicting Mieti Allah, Britain is recognizing the oppression of the indigenous people of Biafra. Let's take this clip. The largest dominant driver of conflict in the Middle Belt region is committed by Fulani extremists who appear driven in large part by ethno-religious chauvinism against mostly Christian farmers, though I do not do I do note that there are elsewhere Shia Muslims who are also victims and that intra-Sunni uh, conflicts also exist within the Muslim community as well. Nigerian Bishop William Avenya will testify today that, and I quote in part, the mass slaughter of Christians in Nigeria's Middle Belt by every standard meets the criteria for a calculated genocide from the definition of the Genocide Convention. And yet he notes, and I quote him, him again, no one has ever been arrested or questioned or prosecuted or convicted of any charge related to this spree of killings which has been going on for at least five years. In his November 18, 2020 report to the International Criminal Court, the Jubilee Campaign writes, and I quote in pertinent part, violence that has taken place in Nigeria's Middle ba Belt is spiraling out of control, costing the lives of thousands of civilians and destabilizing the country and region. The violence is often characterized as a, quote, intercommunal conflict between herders and farmers over natural resources. However, the well-worn label is now obsolete due to the increasing asymmetry in attacks, as well as the steadily increasing frequency and organizational planning of Fulani militant attacks against civilian targets. 
It's worth noting that what separates this situation from that of Boko Haram and the Islamic State, West Africa, is the fact that the Nigerian government under President Buhari is dominated by the Fulani. This is true of the military and the state security forces, but increasingly other institutions of power as well, including the Supreme Court of Nigeria, where Buhari engineered the ouster of Chief Justice Walter Onengen. We now have, we have also seen the sidelining of members of the Fulani community who have demonstrated a commitment to peace, including Yes, so uh, welcome back. Um, as a Solomon, we've seen we've seen uh, a, a terrorist uh, organization like Fulani Hesmen that have not been recognized by the Nigerian government as a terrorist organization. But the world have recognized Fulani Hesmen as a terrorist organization. And we see IPOB that Nigeria proscribed as a terrorist organization. Mazi, unmute yourself. But the world have refused to recognize IPOB as a terrorist organization. Mazi, have the world not been fair to us in, in, in every sphere? Looking at what is going on today, and uh, Mazi, we can hear echo from your, please uh, reduce your listening device. I think somewhere there is an echo coming back to me here. Okay. Please, uh, it's, been it's been addressed. It's been addressed. Yeah. It's so been addressed. Okay, so Mazi, do, would we say that the world have not been fair to us? You know, because when Nigeria declared IPO, when Nigeria declared um, um, IPO be a terrorist organization, the world refused to follow that part of the seat. Uh, part, there is something you need to understand here. Except if one is doing something and you are not sure of uh, what you are doing or you are not convinced, you must so you must know that something must have triggered, motivated. IPOP as to remain consistent the way they are. If you are touring the wrong path, definitely you must have seen that okay, this uh, path that I'm touring is wrong. You is wrong and it's life threatening. You would have turned back, but because we know that we are in the path of justice, we are in the path of just. There is nothing that could have made us to have given up the struggle. So the world now are coming to prove to us that we have been right all this while in all that we are doing they are validating what Mazin and the Kanu told us in Rodeo Biafra and they are validating what I have come here to, to tell a lot of Biafra several times I said I'm paying my money meeting a lot of analysts meeting a lot of consultants as to regard to this struggle because I need also to be aware of what I am doing and what I'm involving myself into. The, every international law is backing us up in this very struggle. Every international law. And that is what the British are trying to prove to Nigeria. That these people you are suppressing, that these people you are oppressing, that they are backed by international law. So therefore they are welcomed in our society. We can give them refuge in our society. And the, the whole world are recognizing that Fulanese are the problem. That Fulanese are the terrorists. So now coming in the aspect of uh, Nigeria uh, uh, proscribing IPOP, the whole world all this while know that they are jokers. They, that, that they are just uh, acting some of these uh, Nollywood uh, uh, movies. They know, they know that the whole world knows, even at the time when they proscribe, when they pronounce, uh, put tag of uh, terrorism to IPOP, the whole world knows that they are shy to play. But the people that I thought that today, that they should be uh, apologizing to IPOP is some of our brothers and our sisters that joined Nigeria or supported Nigeria into that uh, into that uh, uh, terrorist tag. They should be covering their face with shame today. Somebody like Emeke Emeke Siri should be covering his face with shame. He should be covering his face with shame. That, it, that people, the world knows that IPOP, IPOB under the leadership of Mazin Nandekanu are doing legitimate 
things and we have said it here there is no cause for alarm no cause for fear we are in the right path i have paid very huge amount of money by myself trying to consult on this very thing and the, everything was open that we are in the right path even when Uchemofo came to make no i went i paid money to consult they told me that this is uh, one of the the weakness in organization that uh, the, the the devil or the enemy of the people always stays around those weaknesses in organization you know it's just like a family it's just like a business they look for your weak point in that business they look for your weak point in that very family and they will use your weak point to try to penetrate the the organization or try to penetrate the business that's what they they analyzed to me which is one of the weaknesses that organization do have and the, the enemy of the organization always pays around such people in order to penetrate that uh, organization you know everything we are doing it's legitimate you know it's legitimate life preservation is legitimate self-determination is legitimate self-defense is legitimate and the, at this point british has no they have no option rather to recognize what is legitimate because that is the right way to go they need to recognize that we are oppressed our condition is not good in nigeria they have to acknowledge it and therefore they open a gate of refuge for us for us to ensure that uh, to ensure that our life is secured to ensure that if we need a place to for our life to be secured we should count on them and that does not mean that what we are seeking for is an asylum to uh, uh, british to uh, grant us asylum that is not remember the last program that i i made here i told i told our people said that we need to close down all those lapses that was open in 1967 to 1970 that make egypt to fly openly with their with their plane to come and throw bomb in biafra land we need to close those lapses we need to close every lapses that uh, that warranted america not to come openly to so, to support us instantly every lapses that even make the british at that time to be at the side of the the flani, we should close it and that is what you see that is happening in america america now you see uh, the man we brought here how america is recognizing flanese as a terrorist organization how they are recognizing them these are all the lapses that was open then the first of us went ahead of us to label us secessionists label us uh, 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 a rebel a rebel a militant do you understand and the world started fighting us thinking that they are fighting militants they kill millions of us and when millions of us were being killed they assume that millions of terrorists were killed but right now the eyes of the world has opened the new generation of uh, uh, the new generation of america cannot take it anymore like the way they are being blindfolded during the biafran war the new generation of the british uh, british cannot take it anymore as it way what did we do all of them we are in all their communities and countries they know us they know they know our effort they know our hard work they know they understood our skill why should people that is in this way being oppressed in 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 a country of their own the way we are being oppressed and now you can see not only british in the upcoming week it's happen it's going to be happening in australia a gateway open for asylum for biafran in australia is going to take place in japan everywhere is going to spread like a wildfire and from there we are going to get the support this is how they opened up for uh, for south sudan before finally they are independent so our independent is cooking definitely the world have seen that we are an oppressed people and this issue should be resolved they are in support for us to ensure that this issue is resolved
and the only the argument we put on the table to resolve the 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 oppress, oppressions of nigeria over biafran is total independence for biafran that is an our argument ma, 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 the, the 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 united kingdom knows that the open you know there is something that people don't understand what when i i read comments and i understand their their concerns but can Britain take in 70 million Biafrans and offer them asylum? It is impossible. The Britain cannot give 70 million Biafrans asylum in the United Kingdom. It is impossible. But what is important that our people need to understand is that the Britain is beginning to shine the green light to Nigeria that, listen, our alliance is shifting gradually. Miles, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. And that's why you see the Nigerian government complaining bitterly that why should they give asylum to, 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 to IPOB and Biafra? Because the Nigerian government understands the implication of this move. Miles, go ahead. But uh, did you know that even during the war, 1967 to 1970, do you know that the British refused Australian to take Biafrans for asylum? To, they refuse, they refuse, they make uh, Australian to refuse to open the gate of asylum for Biafran. Are you aware of this? So if these people who has refused you asylum in 1967 to 1970 are saying now we are opening the gate, they are taking the lead. Can't you see that the narrative is changing? That is just, that is just the fact. Are they opening? Are they now opening asylum for the Fulanese? No, they are opening asylum, the gate of asylum for Biafrans, and the other countries are going to implement the same thing. So people have begin international community are now coming into our struggle. It's not about people leaving Biafran to uh, 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 to uh, British. No. It is one step per time. A journey of thousands of miles starts with a step. They have to come into that situation. And they have to look every possible means of coming into the situation. And the best way of them coming into the situation of Biafran being oppressed right now is the opening gate of that asylum. Is the opening gate of that asylum. So they are establishing something directly between them and the Biafran people. They are acknowledging their suffering. They are acknowledging the oppressed of Nigeria on them. They are, oppressed, they are acknowledging everything that has happened to us in Nigeria at this very moment. And that is, that is the right way to go. You know, you know, because we are here to enlighten our people. We are here to enlighten our people, especially those who cannot see from a more broader perspective of the advantage that the, that IPOB have never. Maze, 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 part. Yes. There is an opinion. There is opinion you are trying to close down. That opinion cannot be closed down. The no, matter no, no, of fact no, is that no, the people. No. Uh, Maz, hear my point. Yes, the people who ahead. are saying that who are saying that what they need from British, uh, from, uh, British is not uh, a salon. They are 100% right. Despite that we are playing the opinion to say it's just the right way to go. Do you understand? So that the people who wanted beyond a salon, as we wanted beyond a salon, we can use the open gate of the salon to press more for what we want. Because at this time, they give their salon and we are not begging for it. So yeah, now, so if good. they wanted a full cooperation, a, coup, a full cooperation of Biafrans, they should look at also what we want. Because what they get now is not what we are asking them. So understood the Biafrans who are saying what we, are, what we need is not, is not a salon. Because they are saying it based that what you offer is not what we are asking for. British yeah, are aware of this. Mas, absolutely. I recognize, or, and I said we'll be coming to the angle of the real demand. We are coming on the angle of the... As in it, we came on the angle of the real demand. So right, we, are, right. we are coming on the angle of the real demand. Now, 
you know, when we talk about asylum, because our people need to understand, if you have gone outside to seek for asylum, you know the procedures are not easy. It's not an easy process. But for a country, for a country who has, you know, never recognized the suffering of their friends, suddenly turn around to say, we are ready to give asylum we are opening the door of asylum for ipub members especially and every biafran agitator is something that we should applaud but at the same time we know the direction we are going but what we need to make our people understand is that it is an indictment a very big indictment on the Nigerian government, you see, so we need to look at the entire horizon of this discourse so that we see that the effort IPOB have put in over the years have actually started yielding fruit. Mazi Solomon. That is exactly what it is, Mazi part. Because we have seen so many people who claim being educated, who claim that they have learned the language of the white, they have learned the constitution of the white, they have been to their university and all that, uh, speaking grammars, speaking grammars. Some even right now they are speaking grammars of the uh, 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 ESN, illegal, 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 uh, because they think they have been educated. But at this very point, they can see that the knowledge they have is not the real knowledge that people in their position should be should be in the possess of now you know or in all the grammars they have speak in all the activities in all the activities they have involved okay allow me to pick this call uh, I am online right now. Can I call you back in the uh, next uh, few minutes? Uh, I am on Facebook. Okay, so they have seen that actually what they have done is not an education. You know, <laughs> what they know now is not actually the the real knowledge that should be known. We have been crying for them here to go and get common sense. And they refuse to buy common sense. We have already told them that what you are holding like you uh, like a Western education that you feel like you have known, that it is not the real knowledge. We, we who have gone to places can tell you. And most of them, they resign analyzing uh, uh, IPOP every time, as Mazi we say in Radio Biafra, every time they want to write, they say proscribed, every time proscribed, because that is the, 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 the perception that they want to give to people. That is the, the thing that they want people to, uh, to, to begin to sense about IPOB. That any time you say IPOB, what we come to their sense is proscribed, proscribed. Then any time you say Mazin Nandekano, what we come to people brain is proscribed. But the latest event unfolding right now has proven that their proscription cannot stand. Their proscription cannot be cannot be accepted by international communities because everything we are doing we are doing it under the confines of international law. International law. We have not broken any. We have not broken any. So what we told that's why whenever I come here. I would like to remind us what Mazen Nandekanu told the world the day he launched ESN. So if you begin to talk about anything about ESN, we stand on what the world was told. And the world, they stand and they see our consistency in the same thing that we told. We, can never, we never told them one thing and doing the other one. We never. 
we never tell them that we are agitating for Biafra and all of a sudden now we are going to uh, drag for election in Nigeria. We told them what we want is Biafra and we remain consistent to what to our demand. The, with all the pressures that, the, that are coming, still IPOP remain firm. They remain firm. That is what the world is cons considering. How consistent are you in your demand? It's not you come today, you today, uh, Biafra, tomorrow, one Nigeria, tomorrow. tomorrow. That means the, for, nobody, can, nobody can get up to work. No, there is no uh, international community that can get up and work with you that way. Today, you are talking about Biafra. Tomorrow, you are talking about, you are considering Nigeria. That even the Bible said that people of double, the people of double standard cannot get anything even from God. We have remained consistent. And I tell you, your consistency in this agitation is going to deliver Biafra in your hand. It's going to deliver yeah. Biafra to us. Yes. Mazi Solomon. Mazi Solomon. You see, I've read a series of comments and I appreciate them. Um, but Mazi, people are commenting that it is British and the Nigerian government from the comment section. Uh, do you think that Nigeria is comfortable with this level of recognition and acceptance the British have Britain have offered IPOB? Do you think they are comfortable with it? Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Biafran is Biafran is a child of destiny. Biafran has already been ordained by God. So anything you are doing in collaboration against Biafran, God will use it to elevate Biafran. That is what people have to be sure. We are intelligent. Despite the news, we also follow everything on the ground. We monitor everything. IPOP can never be stupid and the world understand it. They understand that Mazin Nandekano that is leading IPOP is intelligent. They listen to his broadcast. They talk to him. They speak to him. The same way Mazin moved to places. He sit down. He's, he sit down with people who can analyze world politics. So don't think, I always come here to tell you that people who are leading you, they are intelligent. Everything they do is going to work for our good. Just uh, sorry for quoting too much Bible, but that is me. The Bible says everything work out together good for them that believe. So they might, they might be in collaboration with Nigeria to... Uh, uh, to bring the downfalls of the Biafrans or for any reason best known to them but uh, we are telling them today that it is better that any action Nigeria have ever take never bring Biafra down since Mazin Nandekanu took the leadership he never bring our agitation down he always push us ahead he always push us ahead yes let me give you one instance and I will keep my mouth quiet they come to kill Mazin Nandekanu, though they succeeded in killing our beloved brothers and sisters, including his dog. And they, that contributes to the death of his, uh, his, his mother and father today, his royal highness. So, but even as that, they succeeded also in pushing Mazin Nandekanu to a land, to a place where he can continue with what he's doing for Biafra. They did that in order to stop us. They were not able. They bring the prescription, uh, the, sorry, the prescribe. They bring the prescribe, they prescribe IPP, IPOB in order to scare people, that people begin to see, hey, they will see me as a terrorist and the people, the people, will, dis, uh, people will run away from IPOP. But instead of it bringing us down, he push us up. Every strategy, if you are talking of Nigeria, they have never succeeded in any of their strategy as to handle the issue of agitation of Biafra under the leadership of Mazin and the Kanu. So if they have not succeeded before, where do you think they can go and succeed? There is no place. There is no place. Any attempt they make to suppress the agitation will elevate us, 
will put us ahead because we have intelligent leaders and that's why we are trusting on them our leaders right now they are very intelligent they are not like people who are sleeping in radio biafra who are no, looking for greed and no, 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 Mazi, Mazi, yes. few weeks ago, few weeks ago, we saw some unscrupulous individuals who went to the British Embassy to petition against IPOB and Mazi Nam the Colonel. Just few weeks ago, in less than a month, and they were in the embassy shouting, repatriate Mazi. You're 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 you are muted. Mazi, you are muted. You are muted. Please display the video for Biafra. No, no, I don't have. I have people. searched for that clip. I cannot find it. I oh oh it. no! I cannot oh, find no. it. Yes. There was also some ah. unscrupulous individuals, some non-entities, who went to the embassy to uh, write a petition against Mazen and the country against IPOB. And few weeks later, the British, you know, uh, opened this kind of door. Uh, to IPOB and Mazen Nam the Canada, instead of repatriating uh, according to their demand, instead of repatriating Mazen Nam the Canada according to the petition, uh, the Britain have said, no, we are even ready to give IPOB and Mazen Nam the Canada more protection. You know, so it calls for also, um, uh, okay, somebody said that he has the clip. If you have the clip, can you please send it across to me? Uh, is there any way you can send it across to me? If you can send it, I'm going to put the WhatsApp number on the screen so you can send it because we need to play that clip. Um, uh, plus three nine three eight eight one seven seven nine six six five. I will also open the line as well uh, for for those who want to call in. We want to open the line as well for those. Who want to call in? Uh, Mazi Solomon Peter. Mazi. Yes, Mazi Pass. Yes, Thank we you, saw Mazi. some some of our supposed brothers who went to the embassy of Britain in Abuja. If you have the clip, if you have the clip of those that went to uh, Abuja to petition against Mazi and the government and IPOB, please send it to this uh, the number of. Ah, uh, uh, so I, I can hear you. Uh, is it not? Hello, Mazi. Yes, yes, Mazi. What, what does uh, it tell you? What does it tell you about the whole situation? What, <laughs> see, you know that God is a merciful God. He 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 normally gives sinners long rope for them to repent. He always gives them wrong rope. They made attempt in talking. It backfire on them. In the name to bring IPOP down, to uh, to humiliate our brothers and our sisters who are IPOP members supporting IPOP in Turkey, they made an attempt to humiliate them in Turkey. It backfired in them. The last time I saw them, they are like a rat in a cage, in a cage in one of the police station, telling people rightfully. Uh, 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 I, uh, 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 it's just a minor thing. I will solve it. Two atomy is on my is is is, is working for me. Uh, it's just a minor thing. It's not. Uh, it's not that I don't have paper. It's just like there is small thing that need just to correct. They make all that boost, and the, the next time we have to hear from them again, they are already in Abuja. They are already being deported. They make that attempt. With all this gang up of this group today, you see them operating, operating like operating that they are human rights radio or whatever. They are all together in that very petition that was written against IPOP in Turkey. And how does it end? It backfired on them. So they feel like uh, it, it may be their mistake. They went again in Abuja to come and uh, write another petition to. Uh, 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 British High Commission. It also backfired. Right now, what we are talking, the same British they went to write petition is now saying they are opening gate for asylum for Biafrans. What a shame. Every attempt, everybody who has attempted to stop this movement is only that some of the people, they are not actually connecting, connecting dots.
Every attempt that people has ever made to stop this generation of Biafra under the leadership of Mazen and Kanu has always backfired on them. Always, even people who are inside inside IPOP trying to walk away of bringing IPOP down, it still backfired on them. Every attempt you make, that's why at this point, if you are in Biafra and you are afraid of anything at this very point, that simply means that you don't know who you are. We don't need to be afraid of anything at this very point. If God be with you, nobody can be against you. Listening to the word of God, finally, this evening, the Bible said, I will make you a rock. He said, he that falleth on you shall be broken, and the he that you falleth upon shall be grounded to powder, shall be grounded to dust. Do you know that? He that fall on you shall be broken into pieces. And the heat that you fall it upon, you fall upon, shall be grounded to dust. This is what IPOP is. This is what IPOP is. This is what the new generation of Biafra are. So it is a waste of time. The southeastern governors, they gang together to work against IPOP. today. How are they today? How far? They have become a laughing stock of the entire nation. Entire nation. You see the way they are, they, they, most of the Nigerian journalists are pressing them like uh, one baby, people, people. When, they, when, when they, they hold them, they will be asking them questions that can have never been asked anywhere. They are handling them like kids because they see them as failure. How could people like you, who has the potential to succeed, to be the number one, to be successful in Nigeria, how do you, how, how manage you fail? That is the way people are looking. People are laughing. They are laughing stock just because they can't go up against IPOP. Tell me who has succeeded. Tell me. Even the number one person, the number two person in IPOP, has he succeeded? Make Iru Nanya there today. Make Iru Nanya there today. Nobody fight against this mission. He say, I've make you a rock. He that falleth on you shall be broken. And he that you falleth upon, you shall grant to powder. You shall grant them to powder. You shall grant them to dust. That is the word of God. So, and that is what IPOP is. So, what we are trying to say here is this. Our salon is not what we need. It's not what we want. It's not what we want. But for British to be the one to open the gate of our salon for Biafrans, that simply means that narrative is changing. Narrative is changing. Ma, so we, things ma, are we, have not... call, we have a caller. We have our Thank friend caller on the program. Caller, welcome to the program. I mean, I'm... I'm sure Go ahead and make your contribution. Welcome to the program. Oh, okay, sir. Are you hearing me now? I can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Okay. I'm calling from Nigeria. My name is Approach Rafael. Okay. Go ahead. Are you hearing me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are hearing you. Okay. The all right. The, what I want to let you for contribute is that the, the conflict going on between the Arabian and the Indo. Uh, everybody, the both, the both who try to understand the fact that they know that the, the so-called planet are the cause of this mess. Because uh, when you see me, I was fighting. I was here. Mm -hmm. I was here to as an example. Yeah. 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 The people that are now probably people that are living in that particular place now, and they don't want the team to come back to that particular island. So, for so, example, that the two tribes, the chief, are just going to understand that they're just calling them. So, they know that the plan is a problem behind me. Because they can't even would like you to respond to people from where they're living so they will have the place out of their own. So, for their own settlement, that they are their cow, they will be their cow there. So, probably now, the two, uh, both tribes are very well now. So, I work on it. 
and hang up with that. Okay, so the 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 two communities. Yes, the two communities have 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 start are, are now beginning to find us. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. You said that the, these two communities. So, You said that these two communities are beginning to find peace Hello? among. You said that these two communities are beginning to find peace among themselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for that contribution. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Solomon. Um, let's see. Let's take the clip of those who went to the embassy to petition IPOB and uh, Mazi Nam the Kano demanding for. The extradition of Mazin and the Kano. Uh, let's take that clip. It's because we don't want Nam the Kano to be killing our people again. Okay. Our people have died enough. Yes. He has no agenda, he has no plans. Nam the Kano is a close. What we want is a peaceful society. Yes. Nam the Kano is just sending the youth to go and die unnecessarily. Over nothing. He brags that he has atomic bomb. He has this, he has that, he has nothing. And the youth believe him. And he's hiding in UK. He's a British citizen. So we, we are here today at the British High Commission to submit a letter to the British ambassador that his citizen or her citizen is causing problem here in our country. They have threatened, they, when I announced that I was, coming to, I, was, I was going to come here, they threatened to kill my mother and my younger ones. As I'm talking to you now, I don't know what if the plan is still on ground. So I'm reporting him to the British ambassador so that he will take it to Her Majesty the Queen and let her know that her citizen is causing problem here for us. Go to my social media page, you see all the threats to my life. We've said it before, we don't want Namdekano's pattern in this our country. He told us, he, 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 he made everybody in the southeast to believe that we should boycott the election, which people accepted. On that day, two days to the election, he collected money and then said that the referendum document has been signed, sealed and delivered. That after the election, we are going to have a referendum. It is over four years now, or Not three years now after the election. And he's still selling lies to And people. he's still telling us again to, that we should fight for referendum. Which referendum? By killing soldiers and policemen. Now, the next strategy he's doing now, he's not killing policemen and he's not killing army men in the southeast. How can you kill policemen and army men and expect them to keep quiet? These are their colleagues. Some of them are their best friends. And they are defenders of the and country. And the worst part is that even the policeman is killing and the army man is killing. And also from, from, from the so-called Biafra. So how, how is he rescuing us? Anyone, anyone that says anything in the South is he will send his men to go and kill him. Yeah. Anyone that says anything in the South is he will send his men to go and kill him. Enough is enough. We've had enough of Nam Dekanu and we are saying no to him. Yeah. The only way we can register our grievance is to go to his country. His country is As Britain, that is the passport the he's using. Have, so we are here today so at the British the Embassy to let them understand that we are not happy with what they are trying to do. IPOB is registered in Britain. Want to show them. So we are you calling for an independent investigation towards all the activities you of Nam Dekanu. Now they can bury people alive in this house. Now they can send his thoughts to go and keep him. Prophet Woko is dead. They, 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 they killed him. Akwara is missing. Akwara is missing. Akwara was his, was his former boy. Akwara was just kidnapped and they tried to bury her alive. Because he was against some of his policies. Except Mazu, he was an army officer. For what? Is that, how many police officers are you going to kill? Yeah. How many? How many are you able to kill? If you kill, they will still you be put put there again. Yeah. So what is the what what is the end result of your killing of police, police officers? Yes. So today, we the Igbo youth in Nigeria and in diaspora yeah. are here Detox. to protest that Nam the Kano's case file must be opened Amen. in Britain. Yeah. So that they will investigate all his atrocities. Yes. They will investigate all the allegations you are labeling against him, which yes. are written in this book. Yeah. They will investigate everything about him. Yes. So that we have a peaceful fight. Yeah. We are not slaves anywhere. Yeah. We are free men. We are free men. All his activities. And he should stop threatening people. Yeah. British government should open the file of all IPOB members. One of them went to social media and he's in Netherlands. 
His name is Austin Okonkwo. He's in Netherlands. He went to social media and said that he was going to go to Britain and assassinate Uchemefo. For leaving the criminal organization. For leaving the criminal organization. Yeah. That he's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill... Let me open my mouth. He's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill his wife. This is this, this video is on YouTube. He's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill his wife. He's going to kill his kids. This is the characteristics of a terrorist. Yeah. This is the characteristics of ISIS. Yeah. IPOB have turned to ISIS. Yeah. And we Mini cannot ISIS. hold our hands and watch them. This is the great uh, Nigeria. people land. Of course. Thank you, my brother. Now Abba is on fire. Yeah. There was God. several gunshots and 16 youths died. Yes. These are fathers, these are children. Yes. She, 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 she began his protest. How many people have died? Yeah. A lot of people have died. So we don't want any more deaths. We say now the canal skates must be open. Britain must listen to yes. us today. They must the ambassador should come out and listen to us and Thank listen you. to our plea. And bring Nam the Kano to book. Yeah. And he's no, a child in that FBI. Again, there's another killer again called okay. China Samoru. Okay. 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 It's in Kuwait. Uh, but he is the person that writes the names of those more okay. that they, they were so cute. Including the, the, the names are most of are mostly Ambassador all the billionaires in in, in, in Ebola. After the Nubo, Emeka of and the rest of them, many of them are, are there. I I I I have I have for slight information about, about it. So we are calling on the British government to extradite Nam Kano, yes. make him face they should open their case. They let you face justice. We are calling for justice. Thank you. You understand? Not fight, justice. not war. The death is enough. Yeah. Enough of the Our killings. mothers, our mothers, we, we fought war before. Yeah. Our mothers are not used to war. Yeah. What we want in the South is anything we want. We have elders. Our elders will sit down and will dialogue and think of how to get us our, yeah. our, 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 our own share yeah. in this country. Yeah. So Nam Dekano, we don't want you. Thank you. We don't want your ESN. Yeah. E e Amotuku was created in the Southwest. It it was created by the constitution of the Southwest. Yeah. Every state has of assembly in the Southwest sat together and uh, passed a law. You can't just stay in Britain and you create ESN. And they're, killing... by, they're by inviting the, 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 the Nigerian soldiers and army to come and be disturbing our mothers. When you, when your ESN go and strike, they will kill somebody mm -hmm. and they will run. Yeah. The police will come there and do mass arrest. Be disturbing mothers and fathers. The money where they go use stop, they go use and they bury themselves. Mm -hmm. We don't want it again. That's so why we are here in, um, in this British embassy to submit our, our letter and to also to cry to the ambassador to send our message to Her Majesty the Queen and to send our message to, to, to our good friend, uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who we so much love and we believe his wisdom. God bless you. God bless Britain. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, my brother, for that uh, wonderful speech. Right now, we are going to ask ask uh, the security personnel to maybe call someone from the inside to take our petition and submit it uh, to the uh, High Commissioner, the British uh, High Commissioner to Nigeria. We will submit it and make sure that they, it gets to the uh, appropriate authorities in the UK. And they have to work hand in hand with our Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, our Ambassador, our High Commissioner to the UK, and make sure that this this nonsense is stopped. We cannot continue to live like this. We cannot continue to be to, to be seen as as savages, building of innocent people on camera. When did we become these animals? That's not who we are. We are peaceful people, and if you don't know the history of Nigeria very well, check we Igbo people. Now, yeah, as a ceremony, uh, mm -hmm. you know, during, during the Biafra uh, Nigerian War in, between 1967 and 1970, we still saw some elements like this castigating our eternal leader, uh, Dime Gojuku, calling for his head. Mm. Yeah. Um, Mazi, um, you must look at it this way. Okay. Uh, like uh, as as I'm talking here, I don't even know the face of people who are following us in this very platform. I don't know their face. I don't know their level. I don't know their level. Some people are not just here to listen to uh, what we are saying, or just they might have feel okay. What we are saying is not uh, necessary for them, but they are here to make sure that they jot down everything that you are saying so that by tomorrow they will keep it for you as a record so that if you start talking black 
and from black you you go to white they will call your attention to what you have said last time and what you are saying now okay so these people that you just see right now in this very um in the, in the clip that was played at this very point they must realize that what they are paid to come and do here did not yield any fruit you are looking at them and some people are in the comments saying two fools two fools this is not two fools you must come to in this in the in these people in that the we project, are okay. in the project in, in the, the project. project you must come to uchemo for in that project you must count Dr. Okado in this very project. You must count Uwazulike in this very project. Amaz, you, Amaz, you you must that there is so many time that Uche before himself specifically also petitioned British government giving asylum to to be a of that uh, people who are not Biafras are coming to take asylum. You see, we are not demanding for asylum. But we are looking at the general perspective to see where enemies have failed, even from within, and we are still moving forward. Go ahead. Exactly. So there are many that are like this. But uh, the days, the days ahead will always prove them wrong. The days ahead will always prove them wrong. So I hope they become useful or they become useless forever because they have when they finish this very outing they goes back in their coven they think we have dealt with them we have dealt with them they felt they have done something that is uh, something that is uh, uh, that something that is yielding fruit for them but right now they must have known that they have failed. They must have come to their understanding. If they have not, they will come to their understanding, to the understanding that IPOP at this point are unstoppable. There is nothing you can do to stop IPOP. And I want to address some of them who will normally go to media to make a address. They want to assassinate me. What did you take that, what did you think that it takes to assassinate you? while the the president of nations are being assassinated easily and you yourself that the, the, that uh, if kagewa you are claiming that people are planning if biafran or mazin nandekanu plan to assassinate somebody like which you know that mazin nandekanu is a, is a failure how can he plan to assassinate do, do you need to plan before you assassinate which if he needed to be assassinated which kind what are you planning what what defense what did he have that we make you to plan before assassination because that is just the statement that when they thought when they come and make this kind of statement people will have sympathy for them people will have sympathy for them biafra is marching forward and they are unstoppable if you want to know the situation your what will be your fate as a saboteur watch that man at the gate of samaria when the prophet of god prophesied by this time tomorrow there will be abundance of food and the man said even if door and windows of heaven open they can such thing cannot happen then the man of god say it will happen but you will not see it it will happen but you will not be part of it and when it happened what did he what what happened did the crowd plan for assassination of the man how why should they waste time to uh, plan for assassination of such man who is hungry plan for association assassination of uh, um uh Asri Dokubo, plan for assassination of uchemofo plan for assassination of uh wazulike how, how can somebody in a position of mazin and can or ipop as a moving train plan before they assassinate people like those those ones you are mentioning what is in planning what is plan what what is to plan before you can assassinate such people there is no plan I can just wake up if if anybody wants it tomorrow, you can just wake up and get it done. If it's something that needed to be needed to be done. 
So all these who are, they, they come to assassinate Sushi Shemofo. Do we are? You think IPOP can plan, can see that for one day, plan, assassinating Sushi Shemofo? What can they plan? Mazu, if it's Mazu, a day, they will get it done. Mazu, we have, a, we have a caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Thank you for holding on, please. <coughs> Go ahead. Make your contribution. Hello, Patrick Nicole. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the Okay, program. good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening here. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. So many declare by name. Go ahead. Um I we 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 are all watching the, the development of uh, the UK. For some people that don't know what IPOB is doing. Because every effort, every push, everything that IPOB are doing, some people taking a joke. We thank God that UK government can come out and speak like this. Can come out to make people to shame, to put up. Um, for my head, the government to do for my head, that came out in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the media, that told us that telling people that we are telling people like, that we don't even know what to do. Do you know that? Do you know that? Are you going to develop this? You know, give this man and the security of people that for so many years that this man cannot be able to attack or anything. This useless man calls himself a general. They are killing people in this country and all the general that a guy with two, 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 two many men cannot speak in China to this one. That's what they are doing to stop people. That you are crying. You want that you are crying what they are doing to people. And we have so many men. We have so many men. We have so many men. He's calling the fact that the problem that they have in Eastern Nigeria is true. Can you imagine that truthless man that has never been before? I'm better than you. I'm 78. I said, in there, I was in a coma. So, what is that? I'm 78. I said, the stupid general, you are not worried. What I want to say again, God said that He has prepared people before us in the presence of our enemy. Before they know what they are doing, we have come. Before they know what they are doing, we have come. People are not a plan. We know what is going on. So let all of them come and say, 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 we say. The world will not call any of them. The only person that will call is IPOB. Imam Muhammad has never speak about about Masoor. He only called IPOB of Masoor and the Karo. The one of them knows that anything when was IPOB in Samutua, anything when was IPOB in Samutua. So wherever you are, come and join IPOB. The game has moved. I don't know why people are wasting time. Don't you people have the spirit of discernment to know who is fighting for you and who is not fighting for you? Look at your battle that they fought. They are in fact. He said that people claim that the state is of no government. Before he said people from Akala in Bengal State. Today he has changed his statement to give them 50 million, 40 million. He used to compact his own people 40 million. Can you imagine the useless government? 40 million, 40 million. That's what he gave his own people. I'll stop here because I'm very, I'm, I'm very annoyed. Thank you. Do what you are doing. Thank God for what is going on. This is a new development. We reject the asylum. Because this asylum is to make our people to be weak. When we go there, we start in life. Uh, asylum we start cannot. Our, life. our can, people will not struggle. We don't need asylum. Asylum our cannot. This is to go ahead. So as we do. Asylum. Thank you. thank you very much. Asylum cannot make our people weak. Rather, the asylum will give us more boldness. Will give us more strength to say, if you can recognize our suffering then do this is what we want this is exactly what we are seeking for so when we talk about referendum first of all the step have been taken our people need to understand that the step have been taken britain cannot just come out and say it is not even within the british um, power to give their first referendum but it is within their power to push for it in such a way that the whole world will recognize that that demand that we are making. Mazi, we have another caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Hello, uh, caller. Welcome to the program. 
Yeah, welcome to the program. Can you please speak out? We are listening. I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to Biafra Television. You're welcome to the program. Biafras are listening. Go ahead. Um, as I think uh, we are having some network issues with our brother calling from California. Uh, I hope that he calls back. Uh, Mazi Solomon. Uh, so our, our people need to understand that nobody is going to UK to seek asylum in reality. But uh, the asylum gate has given uh, our our debate and our demand a stronger um, have given us the strength, and more have given us more energy to push for our demand. Uh, continue. Hello. Yeah, you're welcome back. Go ahead. You're welcome to the program, Mazi. Um, yes, my contribution goes to um, the case of the asylum that was given to their friends. What I have to tell the report, both the Afghans, the British, and everybody who put your statement, do they think we are that? Or now we are just like um, truth? I don't think they understand what we are fighting for or what we stand for. That's number one. Number two, I want us to the British government to thank them. That's good. That's the truth. We appreciate what they are uh, doing to us. But this is not my business to tell them. And secondly, we should understand that wherever a British man is today, be it in government, be it in academics, we have their fans there. There are their, their fans who are schooled in the same school. They will do it better than the British people. So I wonder how they will think the first time uh, okay, this is asylum come and grab it to hear our youth out of their fans. So that the fear or the ESM is the only way they can come to UK, everybody in the Russian, and we will leave our uh, behind them. Even our dear friends who live in the UK want to come back to their We have millions of dear friends who live in the UK. They want to come back to their homeland and they will live and live there. We are concerned that we are. Come up all over the world, even in the same UK, we don't even have good life as we should have. Because you can never reach your food potential as a one in the name out of your home is not possible. And more especially white people's land is not possible. So for them to come and give up a final, well, from my own angle, I found them so much for that, which really shows that yes, they are rich. They have been listening or they have started thinking of something different from what I see. I think that yeah, something is about to happen. Something big is about to take place. That's what I think. It's not just all about the asylum. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Mazi, Mazi. Mazi, can, can I ask this uh, question? Because we are making a conversation here. Yeah, uh, Mazi was Solomon. Want to ask you a question? My question is to you: Is it at this, at this, yes, at this moment, what is your expectation from the British government at this time? What is your expectation apart from the asylum? What what other expectation do you have from them? Okay. See what, see what I said. Do you know what I said? I can see the, the British government they are not just going to go to this debate soon. So they want to make peace with their side. So they prefer to be on the side of their side than to be with other different people. Because if they are here, they are here, which they are doing, which is their side, it will come to the 
Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for that. Yeah, Mazepat, do you know why I asked that very question? Why I asked that very question is because uh, one is this: our people, if uh, British will come up today and said uh, our gates are open for to give asylum to Biafrans to IPOP who are being oppressed in Nigeria. And then people are coming to say, uh, what we want is not asylum, we want referendum. Now, is it British people that supposed to give us referendum? Are they the one to say, you people should have referendum? Are they the one to say it? Mazapat, I'm asking you, uh, is it British? Are they the one to say it? Of okay, course. are they the one to say that uh, uh, Biafran, you are now a free nation, you are now independent? Is it the British? Is it in their position to say it? Of course not, Mazi Solomon. Yeah. Now, one of the major problems we complain about the, about the uh, um, uh, British is lobbying for one Nigeria and lobbying for Flanis to continue uh, taking advantage of other indigenous people in Nigeria. That is the number one place where we normally come to accuse British that this is what they are doing. Okay, now to make a step, to take a bold step, they have to start somewhere. You, you have to look for the convenience way of coming into a matter for, being, for not being part of a, a particular nation that you wanted to, uh, to do something in. You will look for more convenient, more legitimate way of coming into the issue that is taking place in that nation. Axalon is the most convenient, convenient way of British coming in, coming into what is uh, what uh, coming into our agitation that is the most convenient way for them to come into our agitation you know yes, so yes, we yes, must yes, that is yes, uh, that is that is a gateway that is a gateway to their own uh, to their own authority to their own resources so as they open that very way through that very way we will exploit it down to getting referendum Thank and you, we must take advantage of it. We have a caller. Hello, caller. Hold on, Mazi Solomon. Thank you. Uh, hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Thank you for holding up, please. You're welcome to the program. I've been listening to the, your conversation since uh, this morning. And uh, I just want to chip in a couple of things. Because uh, we're here in uh, London, we get a way to think of great here, there is a way the British people think. And uh, some of us that come from Africa, we don't even, our thinking is not that way. It's like they think the other way, we think the other way. When they take a decision, we start reading you know, some different kind of meaning into the decision they have taken. Well, let me say this for clarity's sake. Here in the UK, there are, uh, let me use the word, thousands, not, let me not say billions, there are thousands of Piazza friends. Piazza friends. Thousands of us in the UK here, and so many of this father of the other, ordinary passport, Nigerian passport, is being denied to them because they are what? They are friends. People make patterns of application to the home office here in the UK. I don't know where you live in Patrick, uh, in Italy. Mazi, Mazi, also, Mazi, 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 I don't know if other people that, that live in Switzerland. They also suffer for the... Yeah, Mazi, 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 
who we yeah, are no, we are empathy here. Yeah. Yes, Mas, can you hear me? We are about coming to this point. Yes, you are yes, we are about coming to this point you are trying to raise now. But it's very it's also good that you are raising it. So you go ahead, then we'll be able to analyze it because a lot of our people do not understand that. We already had their friends who are already asylum seekers in the UK who are also finding it difficult already for their even asylum to be granted as a result of that, this lack of recognition. So it's not just a matter of people coming from Biafra land to come and seek asylum. We are not talking about the fresh asylum yeah. seekers. So we, we, we are about. Yes, yeah, so go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I understand clearly. You know, I've had to be waiting for you. Uh, we've been here for so many years. In Nigeria, and all, all the we know what is going on. We know there are people who have high time. It was not granted. They do not go to this. They are rather contrary. I think uh, we are having uh, we are having issues. We are having issues with the connection. So uh, you can always call back. You can always call back. Uh, while we wait for Mazi Solomon to return, uh, we have okay. I think he's calling back. Hello, caller. Well, it's like the line dropped or something. Yeah, the line dropped as a result of network issues. Go ahead. Yeah. So what, uh, what I'm saying is. Uh, there are so many thousands and thousands of people from your name mainly. They know, okay, this is people because when you are doing activities, they will walk in. You put in your, you know, state of origin and things like that. So, thousands are denied Nigerian passports. Now, when you deny somebody who comes from that area, ordinary Nigerian passports, some of them, they will ask them to give them 4,000 pounds for right. And who are the people? The Nigerian embassy in London. It is all house of people. Full of these. Yeah, uh, full of these people. They are the one controlling. So it, it makes life difficult for so many people here. British people, for them to recognize and say, okay, we are granted asylum to the African people. They have looked at uh, so many thousands of, uh, you know, backlog of applications. And they will say, okay, what people are being affected? Who are the major people that this city is getting affected? That they do not get passport from their country of origin. They are what? Biafra. So the agitation we are having for Biafra freedom, for them to recognize this at this time, means they are no longer, even if they are coming to support Fulani, if something happens, and there is war tomorrow, and there is a influx of Biafra in the UK. They can easily absorb them. But that's not what we want. What we want is for them to come out and make a clear statement about where they belong. That okay, Biafra, they are free to, you know, have their free nation. But then we we should not expect that from them. What we are saying is that we have to do something. By ourselves, we have to, to fight for our freedom. Without us fighting for our freedom, nobody is going to come and help us. Nobody is going to come and declare the attack for us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, can I, can, oh my God, the line is, is going off. I think he's having network issues as well. Yeah, so from what our brother has explained here, uh, that we, all, we have already Biafrans who are also seeking asylum, who are having difficulties. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Hello, caller. Uh, caller, can you hear me? Okay, let me see if I can take this call from uh, our brother also in the UK. Hello, welcome, uh, Mazi. Welcome to the program. Mr. Yes. Charles, Charles, welcome to the program. It's important we talk to our brothers in the UK to give us their own perspective on the issue because you people are on the ground and you know better than we as much as we are giving our own our opinion here as well. Go ahead, Mr. Charles. 
the national in the economic interest, of which, um, we, of course, if Delta is a nation tomorrow, or Delta is actualized tomorrow, we will go into bilateral relationship, bilateral trade with other nations. So whatever be their internal political crisis or whatnot, we will still keep doing business until the shift in everything. Thank you. So, Thank you very much, Mark. Our partners in what we are creating will push the British government to say, because they are not the ones to determine our faith. You understand? So, but uh, if we need them to support us as a member of our uh, member of states, you know, you understand? They will do it in due course. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mazi Solomon, uh, like Charles said, uh, you know, uh, there, are, there are people who really understand the international politics. Uh, a lot of our people might not understand the statement that Britain have made. Uh, and the Nigerian government is feeling the heat. They feel disappointed. We saw Lai Mohammed coming out yesterday to cry and say that IPOB is a terrorist organization, that this is a, a, um, a, a threat, a fact that it is a, uh, how do the word he used, that uh, it is, um, uh, a, 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 uh, there is a word he used, that it is a setback, that it is a setback on the fight against terrorism, you know. So, Mazi Solomon, you see, most of our people, when they, they when they comment, they think that we are excited about the the asylum. The excitement is not about the asylum, but the excitement is about that recognition of the fact that we have been able to bring to the attention of the world about the sufferings of their friends and the world is giving all the attention we have been clamoring for over the years. Mazi, we have a caller. Uh, caller, welcome to the program. Mm -hmm. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. Uh, uh, from there, Mazi uh, Peter. I'm Mazi Solomon. Can you hear me please? Go ahead. We are listening. Go ahead. I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. Your voice is coming out clear. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, if you can hear me, uh, thank you very much for picking me for I am very grateful. I think it's actually my first time of calling the program. we following you guys and I've been enjoying the show. Uh, today I actually want to talk about this. Asylum issue that outside everybody right now. Uh, first, I want to, the first thing I want to say is that it, it's happening stage by stage. Everything that is happening right now in Nigeria, it's happening stage by stage with the, between the Nigerian government and the British government just to suppress or to suppress the, the, the agitation of. Indigenous people of Biafra. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we heard that the military, the head, military head of the British, visited the Nigerian government on reasons that we cannot uh, uh, see right here or we don't even know about. After that, we heard again that there are picking of our people. They are planning to keep picking our people from different places, and the DSS and other people, and other uh, Nigerian forces. We don't know uh, where to be. Okay. So this, all the tactics that we are using, all the plans that we have set aside to to help the Nigerian government in order to suppress what DSN and IPOB is doing in the eastern region, it's not working. Now they want to give up asylum. 
Nathan is never and it's a very good development. We are very happy about it because most of our people who are there have been suffering from uh uh looking for for this asylum issue and it has not been coming through. But now it's an opportunity for them. But this should be this should be the uh, there will be an advice to our people who are back home. Or those who have been taken by the DSS, who have been arrested, they will start promising them that they should go out to the country. I feel it is a plot to push our people out of the country and look for a way to support us with more. Because you know, more of our people who are traveling are men. And these are the men who, who are on ground. And when they keep giving them asylum and promising them, instead of fighting for their friends, you know, when they arrest you and torture you back, instead of fighting for trouble, you people who are looking for something to do. And you see them looking for. <laughs> Uh, Mazi, Mazi, Mazi Patrick, Mazi Patrick. Yeah, I know that uh, we are giving um, people also. Yeah, Mazi, the problem is that they are slow in their, you know, there is this, the connection. So I'm trying to like, try to catch up. The connection is very Yeah, slow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, at least sometimes you can also make their point to be, uh, to narrow to what we are discussing. Even what I try to, because even when I try to now it's difficult for they, them to even, they need to it. understand that asylum granted by the uh, British does not mean that a free visa is not a free visa. So many, there is so many visa program in which anybody can travel to uh, can travel to British uh, Britain and remain there. But to say that they are granting asylum to Biafra does not mean that when you go to embassy, you want to travel to British. You say, I want to go and take asylum at uh, uh, in, in uh, at British. That's not the way it works. To say we are granting asylum simply means that we are opening a platform to relate. They want to relate to their friends. That is an opening door. So we can exploit it. They are recognizing our position, recognizing our suffering. They are not lifting people. It's not a program of coming to lift people from, from Nigeria to British. That is not what it means. So we must understand there are so many visa you can use to travel to British and people are getting it and you can't stop it. But for them to say we are giving an asylum, we are granted an asylum, so means they are opening a platform to relate to their friends, to be able to uh, hear their friends, hear what is their problem and what is their challenge. So, and we can exploit it. That is very, very important. Is that a, is that a diplomatic, is that a diplomatic approach? Is a, is a diplomatic approach and we must embrace it. Is a diplomatic approach and we must embrace it and exploit it. We know what we want. Nobody, I don't think that there is any nation that is wise on this very earth to deceive us, Biafra, from we have tested freedom in some other countries which we have been. So we know what freedom is all about. So when we are seeking freedom for our people, there is nothing that can give to the exchange of our, our seek of freedom. But when and anywhere that uh, one, anywhere that we see a door a diplomatic door open we will exploit that a diplomatic door is a voice that is given to biafrans under the platform of Brit british is a voice so we must exploit it that is just the certain i don't care how many biafrans go to get their salon there by the way mazin nandekanu was a british citizen is he not fighting for biafra you say they are lifting the men way we are they, they, they can lift men like uh, those sabo that is hanging in the high commission, you know, that are looking to where they can go and pass and be shopping, mama, thank you. They can lift those men, people who believe in Biafra. They, we, are, they, we are not going anywhere. So many of us, we are abroad and we are still believing in Biafra and fighting for Biafra freedom. And ready to come back and, and identify with the people on the ground. So all these things that you, you are saying, people are saying uh, they, they want to take out the men, they, they taking out where? There is a visa program for British that are running over the ages and people are getting it and traveling. What are we talking yeah, here? Ma, Ma, Ma Solomon, I have already said it. How many, can you give 70 million Biafrans asylum? That is the question. Our people need to understand how many people can Britain accommodate in the UK? So, so we should put this idea of they want to, they want us to relax. Who is making you relax? We that are in the diaspora, have we relaxed? 
We have not relaxed. We have not. It is we that are even in diaspora that are pushing harder, you know, encouraging those back home to do more. So, caller, welcome to the program and make your contribution. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Yeah, Mazi Solomon, I will be running up uh, so that you also be able to concentrate on your activities. You've done great. We've been able to bring the uh, our own perspective to our people to understand that Britain did not give you option to say abandon your agitation and come and take asylum. No, Britain have not said if you abandon your agitation, we give you asylum. Mazi Solomon, <laughs> our people need to understand. That Britain have not told itself, stop agitating and come and take asylum. And we know exactly what we want, like you said. Mazi, go ahead as we round up. Mazi, we have been in this very struggle and the narrative we are changing. We are in this very struggle. At a point in time, we are seeing Yorubas as the greatest enemies of our struggle. Now, Yorubas have the narrative have changed in their own side they are now leading in the struggle okay so we are here and we are seeing that it's very difficult to at a point in time to get uh, ambazonia and the afghans to to be rehearsing together we have seen it happen the narrative is changing there is so many people who argued Mazi, are you is anyone calling there is so Somebody many people but he has to two years call her, hold her, I'll put you. there is so many I'll people two years her. ago two years ago three years ago they have nothing to talk about they are one nigeria nigerianis 
they are supporting Nigeria. I can take you for instances, our beloved brother, Simon Eba, counting three years back, he is one Nigerianist. Compare him for Nigeria. If you talk Biafra, he he will you fight are, you. He will even call the police. Sweet, uh, Do you, you understand? Now, now, narrative is changing. So, now, it's not the same. There is people who last year, even last two months, last three months, they are one Nigerian. Is, they are still seeing Nigeria that there is hope remaining. But today, so many of them have contacted me and called me, even our politicians. The high number of our politicians now are now supporting IPOP and they supporting what IPOP stand for. So narrative, the narrative is changing. So if Britons are making this very move, we should not capitalize based on who we know who we, we know Britain used to be. Britain we, used to know. Britain we used to know. We must know that it will come to a point, Mazi has said it, that something will compel all of them to support us because we are in the mission of God. So we must know that when something happens, we should not be thinking of the negative side of it, though it is also good to be conscious of, of dangers and hazard, as to is also to have the analytic mind towards yes, whatever yes. thing anybody is offering you. Because we all those positions are good, but we should also look at the aspect of what can those avenues open? What can it help us to achieve? Do you understand? Now we can say Fulanese, they come, they, uh, they invent our village, clean us. They think that by doing that, they will subdue us into fear. But they don't know that they are, what, they have, what they are doing is making us to be more strong. So the activities has pushed us to stand up with ESN with ESN. So the narrative is changing. So you must know that everything that happened on our way will always put us in advantage. Whether if they meant it for our, even if they meant it to be evil for our downfall, for our, our downfall, it will still reverse. And yeah, we'll Mazi, Mazi, let's take this call. Let's take this call. Hello, caller, welcome to the program. Hello, good morning, man. Good morning. Uh, hello. Go ahead, we are listening. Yeah, okay. My is this true in this issue of issuing an asylum. Exactly. I know in the other way, it's an opportunity that so many people want to have to Because to get an asylum in Australia is not that easy. It's not all the countries that give you a service. So they are told, of course, it's because it's been the form for that asylum. Can you please speak on? Can you please speak on? Can you please speak to the form of the asylum? Which one? Everybody knows it's all about maybe if they come to the asylum, like coming or work. Okay, now, if Britain has offered the Vietnam asylum, which, where are, where are they capitalizing on giving them this asylum? Is it that there is a war in Nigeria, which I'm sure that Britain has never come out to say what is going on in Nigeria in this country? Or the changing of the diaspora in Nigeria is not Britain has never looked at it. I mean, to my own way, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now, if they are not giving the diaspora asylum, I think, where are they giving us this assignment? I think we have a time that we are in the family where there is no food to eat. Or we are in a deep time like war, killing each other. Where are they giving us the assignment? It's true that people are in the UK and most of them need the assignment. Me and the South Africa, because the here in South Africa, we get assignment. It's not that easy. I know that one question. Because they will ask you, why are you, why did you leave your country? So then we start telling them why you need to But now that Britain is giving the gap for that time, why are they giving us that time? Are they afraid that there is war going on in Nigeria now? 
Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for that contribution. Mazi Solomon, I think we've answered that question earlier in the beginning of the program, that the British government is beginning to recognize the suffering of Biafran people in Nigeria. And he's asking, why are they giving us asylum? It's a and the, the, the guy who was responding on why are they giving us asylum should go and google why the British are giving their friends asylum. You will understand there. We are right now, they regard us as, uh, as, um, um, uh, 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 as a, uh, a political um, refugee. So they are seeing us as people who has, who has political problems with Nigeria. Okay? It's not on the sense of war. This is not the program of uh, uh, UN. This is just the program that draw out by British. And they all, it's, they all it mean, all that that thing stands for now is that attention given to your struggle. Attention. They create a platform. They open the platform to give attention for your struggle in Nigeria. So many things can come out of it. It can be a reference. It can be a reference to any court of law or even to UN. That this, for this reason, for this reason, even the British at this time, they, gave, they opened a gate of asylum for us. So we should understand, we should understand it. Give me a moment. Yeah, so uh, let's see if uh, we have another caller. Charles is calling back. Hello, Charles. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, thank you for having me, Mr. Kandor. And this is for so if you know that uh, even the British government understands that uh, even because of the political uh, 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 the, the, the flip that has happened, they, 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 they understand the more action Uh, Charles, I think uh, you're having network issues and um, I would have actually brought you directly into this program uh, so you can uh, so you can participate with us because being in the UK uh, gives you some sort of um... Hello Charles Hello Charles Hello. Yeah, uh, Charles, I have sent you a link. I have sent, yeah. I have sent you a link to this to this number. So if you can join us directly, it would be nice if you can yeah, join. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. I can't even talk on the video. Okay, okay. So tell us uh, your thought. Continue. Okay, make yeah, what, what make it as brief. Uh, make it as brief as if possible. You listen, if you watch, if, if you watch after the NSAS protest. There was an investigative um, uh, part, uh, members here that was constituted to investigate whatever happened. And if you listen to them, when they were given account of them, everything that had happened at that period, yeah, go ahead. Hello, Charles, are you there? I think Charles is having uh, uh, issues with the connection. So, uh, so what we are trying to uh, bring to uh, Biafrans here is to see it from a more broader perspective. Because if, um, yes, let's see if Charles can come back. Um, hello, Mazi, welcome back. Hello, Charles, are you there? 
uh, Mars is Solomon. I think Charles is having a network problem. So, Mars, what I'm trying to see that Biafra should see from that broader perspective that the, the move by the United Kingdom have is also helping us to make a stronger case around the world, telling the world that if the UK can recognize our sovereign position, then it goes a long way to tell the world that <laughs> our country. There is yes. something happened. Uh, I just pick call for one politician who are watching us here. <laughs> you know what he told me? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Mars, go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, he said that um, uh, that uh, this um, gateway, this asylum gateway, uh, open uh, gate that uh, British did, that it, it will end up not uh, the the people that we end up getting our salon with it will not be IPOP because because the way he sees the IPOP they cannot abandon what they are looking for to um to seek for asylum that Come on, hold on, please. that yes, people who we go on. and seek for that asylum are the Amimo Amimo and his brother the <laughs> Udele. Because that, even, even that, was even requesting for asylum at the embassy by telling them that he, that he was a threat to his life. You know, so, you know, he is, I remember he's used to running to the, to the embassy for help. It's not the yeah. first time he had gone to the embassy to seek yeah. asylum. He has yeah. gone to the American embassy to seek asylum in the past and they rejected him. You know, so now he's trying to use it as if IPOB is threatening his life. If uh, with the petition now that he dropped, he, he in the future to see if he can run to the embassy and say, you know, I dropped petition here last year. I dropped yeah. it here six months ago. The pressure by IPOB is intensifying. Can you please give me asylum? So he was paving his way for asylum, which we uh, all understand because uh, you know, uh, yes. IPOB. IPOP, one family. One family, IPOP. We don't yes. need at Salon. So we even the Peter British Trump. even the British government knows that IPOP are not interested in, in uh, asylum. They know. They understand. You don't need to say it much because they know they know what you want. But <laughs> we have to take advantage of the door that is open. Explore it and continue to push for exactly what we are seeking for. Mazi Solomon, we have to start rounding up this program. Um, uh, we, we've seen a series of comments. People are commenting. Uh, 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 okay, let's see if Charles, uh, Charles Eze can uh, give us a little brief. Uh, hello, Charles. Hello. Yeah, Charles, can you please make it brief? Uh, because we are rounding up. Yeah, let me... Yeah, let, let me make it brief. What you must understand is that the whole world knows that the background are the most decisive, the most curative, and you know that everything that we stood up and we agreed that we're going to do, nothing changes it, and the world knows that. So, the British government knows the issue of the background better than any other, even part of that uh, Nigerian or uh, contraption. So normally, we should have been in the assignment. Yeah. I think uh, Mr. Charles is having issues. There was somebody that called in earlier. I was asking him to wait, but uh he dropped the call let me see if i can get in touch with him let me see if i can get in touch with him um let me see if i can get in touch with him so that he can make his contribution is a special privilege i'm giving him i hope that he respond to his call before we round up this program yes hello caller welcome to the program yeah welcome to the program can you please pick up I can hear you speak up. Everybody is listening. Their friends are listening all over the world. Can you please speak? Can you please speak up? People are not. People are not hearing you. Speak up, so that people can hear you. 
Is it in court? We need to talk. We need to know. We need to know. People are not here. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. I want information now. I want the capacity. Muslim is a mistake. Out of there. That's your Muslim. So we need to be following those those guys on the ground. school in the Boni have been there for the Islamic school in the Boni they have been there for many years for so many years yes. and that yes. Islam that Islamic school yes. have been yes. under scrutiny for a very yes. very long time and we have drawn attention in fact yes. that Islamic school in the Boni have become a threat to that community and uh, uh, our people are scrutinizing uh, our, uh, the host community are no longer feeling comfortable in that school. And I brought that uh, issue on this program uh, that the, the, the school, that Ebony school, the biggest mosque, uh, the biggest uh, institution, Islamic institution in the whole of, almost in the whole of West Africa, is, is situated in Ebony and is inconveniencing our people in Ebony. And uh, that school has been under scrutiny. That place has become a place of training terrorists. And uh, I believe that in the coming days, uh, the people in that area have to decide what to do with that uh, structure there. So we have I have talked about it, uh, and we will continue to put our our um, uh, satellite. And we also encouraging their fans in the Bonyo within that to send us video clips and uh, uh, pictures of what is going on around that environment because that school has become a threat to our people living in that place and uh, i've talked about it i will continue to talk about it and i also want to thank you for bringing it uh, forward thank you very much thank you very much yeah thank you very much thank you yeah my solomon so um uh the course and calls are coming in like wildfire uh -huh. even while we are trying to round up but we'll give our people just that little hello. opportunity yes make it brief you have just two minutes hello, 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 hello. you have two hello, minutes hello, hello. yeah you have two minutes make your contribution please very fast so we can possibly take other calls yeah can you hear me hello caller can you hear me Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hello, uh, good morning, my friend, Patrick, and my son. Uh, uh, thank you for the good work you are doing for we in Piazza. My name is Uche uh, Chukwe Kimezon, I'm coming from Germany, to be precise. Anyway, my friend, I just want to contribute to the training news that is going regarding, uh, regarding the asylum Go ahead. 
Customers, they, uh, people are having difficulties with their network these days. I don't know what the problem is. Yes, yeah, so much. I think we have to come to the end of the calls. Uh, I'm about to run it up. Uh, as they give us your final take for today's um, on today's program. Thank you, Mazi Pat. Uh, thank you, Mazi. It has been a nice time with Pia France and. Uh, um, yeah, we have all sampled our opinions. Uh, this is just the way it's supposed to be, because So that's what we are doing here. People will learn from us. We learn from people. We sample our opinion. At the end of the day, we move forward. So everything you are thinking at this moment, as to regard to the uh, asylum that uh, granted by the uh, the gate of asylum opened by the British government for Biafrans, anything you are thinking might be real, might be truth. It might be that they are in collaboration with Nigerians to deal with Biafrans. It might be that uh, they wanted to move uh, the youth of Biafra to, Brit uh, to British. Anything you think at this time might be real. But one thing is the fact now. We are moving the Biafra's agitations into the stage of international politics, international stage. So any slight, any slight acknowledgement any uh, slight uh, uh, recognition from international so uh, community, we can exploit it at any time to our own advantage. So the asylum is given to us, the gateway for the asylum is given to us, it's left to us to know what to do with that which they, which they have given. They cannot determine our fate. If anything is danger, we will keep on coming here to enlighten our people to call our people to let them know the dangers in what they are doing. But for now, it is an international recognition to our suffering, to our struggle. So therefore, we that it was the opportunity was given must know what to do with the opportunity. Even if there is something else they plan with that opportunity, we will change the directive. We will take advantage of it and we will exploit it. That is my own stand at this very moment. And I am I have nothing with people who said what they want is not uh, is not asylum. If you are not ready to take the asylum, you can walk into the British and then take what you want them to give to you that is not asylum. But for me, as they felt that the only easy way for them to come into the, uh, the, the, the issue of Biafra is to by opening up a gate of asylum, that is a welcome. It's an, a welcome idea. It's a, a good development, uh, development. So we need to follow it up and they exploit it. They have made an official um, statement as to regard to this. So it's left for us to know what we can use that opportunity to achieve in the struggle and exploit it. It's not a matter of what they are thinking or what they are planning. What is your own plan as per an approach to that very avenue that is opening? And that is my last word today. Thank you for listening and thank you for being part of this very thank discussion. You. Your you very comments much. and your contributions is highly welcome. And I believe that most of Biafrans has, benefit, has benefited with your comment and the contribution through via phone call. Thank you so much. My no, name is... You know, one, be one beautiful thing about our people, the, the uh, Biafra people, is that you know they have their own way of reasoning. That sometimes it makes you get kind of provoked, you know. But at the end of the day, you find out that uh, uh, there is this balance. Everybody, you know, thinking in different direction. People bringing opinions. People, uh, and it's quite interesting. And this is what uh, we need. Uh, uh, you know, as we move forward, so that people can always feel free to express their feelings, no matter how you know you feel. Come on with your your thinking; it will help us. Uh, but what we are trying to do here is to take a more horizon, you know, uh, our debate in a more holistic manner, in such a way that we'll be able to touch every angle of the debate mm. and present it to, to mm. Biafra. I want to say thank you very much uh, uh, for your uh, for those who made their comments. Uh, thank you for those who called in. For those who I couldn't pick their call, I want to say I'm sorry. Uh, for those who called in late, well, some other time. But I want to also use this opportunity to talk to our people. If you live in a bony or that environment, 
I uh, will need you to furnish us with information in regard to the Islamic school there. Uh, the number you can get on with is plus three nine three eight eight one seven seven nine six uh, six five. If you have anybody within the Ebony Axis that can send up video clips of the Islamic school and the activities that are going on there, please send it to this number. If you have a uh, picture, because our people in that community are already living in uh, in fear. On a daily basis, they are feeling threatened with the edifice of that and the activities, things that are happening in that environment. We, as we, as we, as the information that are coming in gradually, that that place has become a home for training of terrorists. That school has become a, a home for training of terrorists, and we cannot accommodate that in Biafra land. So, but we want people to bring up more evidence of activities that are happening in that institution, that Islamic institution. Very, very important. Uh, until we meet you guys again in the nearest possible future, uh, I want to say thank you for being part of this program. Uh, my name remains Mazi Ike Patrick BK, and uh, we'll be seeing you very soon. I want to say thank you. God bless you, and have a wonderful